if you're looking to buy a Stream Deck and you're not quite sure whether it's worth it, well, stick around. I'm going to show you exactly how I've set mine up and how you can utilize it for your everyday streaming or even just gaming or even controlling Spotify. So, stick around. So, to get the Stream Deck software, once you've purchased your Stream Deck, all you want to do is go to the downloads page and you select your product. Doesn't matter which one you select of the uh, Stream Deck. It, all the software works for any of them yeah because you can you can add multiple stream decks to your pc and you can flick between uh, editing different ones so all you got to do is obviously as you can see here it says compatible with this normal stream deck the mark ii which has the uh, front plate you can change out and also the mini and also the extra large 32 key one um and if you click download Obviously, make sure you select your version. I am on Windows, so this is the Windows version. Um, you'll have to click on this uh, drop down menu and click Mac if you wanted the Mac version. Obviously, I've already got it downloaded. So, to get the Stream Deck software, once you've purchased your Stream Deck, all you want to do is go to the downloads page and you select your product. doesn't matter which one you select of the uh, Stream Deck. It, all the software works for any of them because yeah, you, can, you can add multiple Stream Decks to your PC and you can flick between uh, editing different ones. So all you've got to do is obviously, as you can see here, it says compatible with this normal Stream Deck, the Mark II, which has the uh, front plate you can change out. And also the mini and also the extra large 32 key one. Um, and if you click download, obviously make sure you select your version. I am on Windows. So this is the Windows version. Um, you'll have to click on this uh, drop down menu and click Mac if you wanted the Mac version. Obviously, I've already got it downloaded. Right, so when you first install the Stream Deck and do go through the installation process, you'll be greeted with the welcome button. And you can simply just look at this. This takes you directly to the website. So you've already got a button for you, which basically shows you stuff you can do. You can link it up to your OBS, uh, to your YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, whatever you want to link it up to. Uh, it obviously shows you on here. You can go to the website and look at this yourself if you want to do that. But I'm going to show you how I set mine up. So for me, uh, I've recently uh, adjusted the uh, settings on here. So what I've done, I've simply just added a main profile. I've got my streaming button. If I press this, uh, OBS opens. At the moment, it's already open, so I can't open another instant of OBS. And this also turns on my lights for when I am streaming, which lights up my face. Um, I also have a button for my socials, which takes me to my Twitter, my YouTube, and it opens my Twitch as well. So I can quickly access my social medias. Very cool. I also have a Discord button, which uh, I can... I have a bunch of keys for a few servers. So if I wanted to join ASUS Boosters for voice chat, I can do that. Here's my VC. If I wanted to go to my streaming VC, I can. If I wanted to go to any of my uh, chat channels, I can also navigate that as well. And if I want to mute my things, I don't utilize this that much. Uh, just because I... Don't, that's just a, I've just added that extra because I needed to fill up space a little bit, but it sometimes gets used. I also have a button for my uh, YouTube studio, so if I need to quickly go open that up and then check like my uh, analytics and see how well the channel's doing, I can do that. And the same for uh, Twitch, it's dashboard. I also have a, a lighting, which I can control my lights for my uh, Elgato Streamlight. I love the Elgato product, and I also have a button for my backlighting I use in my streams, and that's pretty straightforward. And then I also have the main profile here, 
this switches to virtual desktops. I don't actually have uh, another one set up because you can. What you can do on Windows is you can you can open up another like virtual desktop. So if you've got a bunch of stuff open and you want a fresh one, you'll press it and it will give you a blank uh, desktop. So if you need to like open up something and you didn't want any clutter, you just wanted a virtual desktop to do other stuff with, that works as well. Uh, and as you can see, I've got quite a few profiles. So if I go into this one here, this is my music one for Spotify. Um, I can play Spotify. I can connect. I can press the audio switcher and it will connect to my Alexa. So it plays the music out loud. I can control the volume. I can even uh, listen to my favorite playlists like the Juice World one, Rap UK and so on and so forth. And if I press back. I can then ac I can still access my stream one, my stream profile, which are this this trans this transitions between my different scenes. I've got my lighting, which is the same lighting you saw on the main profile. I wanted it to be accessible while streaming and while not streaming as well, because I also record videos as well. Or sometimes I might be on Discord with my friends, but I can access it on the main dashboard because my obviously my discord folder is there with my controls as well so i could uh, it will be in one place all i have to do is go to discord change jump into the voice chat i want to jump into i could even add a video chat button if it has that feature and then turn the lights on so i have a nice quality webcam very cool and obviously i've got a button here for my cameras for my webcam when i press this it adjusts my webcam accordingly um so you don't have to spend like half an hour to an hour tweaking your settings every time you beat PC up, because obviously Logitech, the, C Log the Logitech C922, doesn't save your cam settings. Uh, so if you have got a webcam like that, you can set this up and do that. Um, I've also got a reset button, so I can also clear it if I don't need to have the lighting. I just want a default cam. Um, I also have. Uh, this here just moves my uh, gaming screen, my webcam border to different parts of um, my screen. And I've got that set up in uh, OBS. So I have a top left one, top right one, bottom left and bottom right. And I can just press the button, it will smoothly transition between the t uh, those four. And obviously I can reaccess pretty much anything. If I go next, I can press the stream on from there. Or I can go straight to the music one, go back, and I can press the main or the stream one if I want to. And I can also, yeah, so I can access this pretty much from anywhere. I just need to add a loop back to the uh, music one directly from my streaming dashboard. So if I am listening to the uh, royalty free music like Stream Beats by Harris Heller, I can then adjust the uh, Spotify music accordingly. So. That's pretty much it for how I use mine. I'm going to add more to the future and make it more streamlined, add more profiles. As you can see, I can quickly move between them. So if I have a multiple different amounts of profiles, I can even add pages to it and I can incorporate pages as well as profile switching. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much um, it for that. I will also show you uh, the plugins um, Elgato offer. Obviously, you've got your default uh, plugins like the control center, which if you've got an Elgato Streamlight, you already know it has to be set with Wi-Fi and you have to manually control it through here, the, uh, the Elgato control center. But if you do buy yourself a Stream Deck, you can just have the Stream Deck at arm's reach. You don't have to click down here. If you're play if you're streaming and playing a game, obviously you don't want to tab out to adjust your lighting. Uh, you can just press the lighting button, or even you don't. You might not have a audio mixer. You might have like a virtual audio mixer, which is runs on your computer, and you can probably find a plugin for that, so you can adjust your volume up and down if needed. Um, I believe you can also adjust the OBS volume. So you haven't got an XLR mic or you've got a normal got a normal USB mic and you want to change the uh, OBS volume, I believe that's also possible as well. Uh, the game, uh, Elgato doesn't just have stuff for streaming. 
You've also got like, stuff like business tools. So you've got like Zoom plugins if you need to control uh, Zoom. Uh, Stack. So if you work with Stack Flow or whatever, or if you work with PowerPoint, you can control your PowerPoints as well if you need to. So that's pretty cool. Now you could be away from the computer or you need to be standing up and you've got like a stream deck what's off to the side or something or maybe the stream deck isn't on the computer or you you have a bunch of people showing their PowerPoints off and it's for a company business. You can probably switch between each screen. You could still get to by HDMI and you can do some advanced stuff like that. You can even do some, uh, use developer stuff for like visual code. You can even do some engagement stuff. Like countdown timers, stream loot if you do if you use stream loot. Some uh Twitch chat stuff, I'm not sure what that one does, but I imagine that has some cool features in it. Uh financing, so you can look at stocks. Uh if you're into investing in stocks, you can keep an eye on stock prices, which is pretty cool. You could probably even have a button to sell it, maybe. There's probably something on here. If there isn't anything on the store, I believe you can also install third party plugins from like online and you can drag it you can drag and drop them and they will automatically install as a plugin as well. I think I have some what weren't on the plugin store. Um obviously you've got Philips Hue, you've got all your lighting, LifeX, uh Colo Light, Nano Lease, home integration, cool. Uh obviously the control center. Your monitoring. There you go. You have to see your heart rate in real time while you stream. There you go. So you can have your heart rate on your stream deck. That's pretty cool. Um, also stuff for music. You've got YouTube music stuff. So there's quite a lot of options. And also as well, you may have noticed I have custom icons. These item uh, icons... Um, I got from like Nerd or Die or something like that, one of those types of websites, they were free. Very good quality. I've got a bunch of different icons I can uh, use to customize the look of my Stream Deck. But you can also get some directly from the store. People create these cool packs, so the superhero themed ones. It's got 123 icons for free. Very cool. 8-bit ones, you know, if you need 8-bit ones. All sorts of themes. You can even buy more. You can buy more, you can make your own if you're an artist. Or if you're not an artist, you can just... There's quite a few options for icon packs. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's also stuff like music libraries. But I think this is uh, copyright free. So if you wanted to use some sound effects or music, you can... And that you can add that to a button and you can have sound effects. See? Very cool. That's pretty cool. So if you need a, a free soundboard, you have a soundboard. So you don't have to uh, spend money on a, uh, an actual soundboard. Like, um, what's it called? A uh, clownfish or whatever, you know. Um, and what's the other one? Which no one remembers. Um, yeah, so you can do that as well. So there's plenty of options to uh, customize it. Plenty of options to create things. Um, in terms of um, stuff you can create, you can go. If I go to the, if I just make a new profile, I can create folders. So uh, you not only can you create folders, you can create a folder inside a folder. So if you had like a massive folder for sound effects, you can you can add more folders to categorize them into different sound effects, and you just know where everything is. Like you could have like Christmas themed ones, you can have dog themed ones, you know, animal theme, animal theme, science fiction, and then you can just have them ready to go. Um, or you can probably even set it up to automatically when you get an alert come in. Uh, you can get it to do set off like a, a media source like i know there's like apps like if this then that which also has a stream deck plugin in here and then you can probably uh, just adjust stuff like that there's also like atium um connections as well lumia stream 
Lumia, by the way, if you connect it up, you can connect all your uh, lights in your room and you can get people to redeem stuff using channel points. And you can even add uh, in here, you can add the button for on and off anyway. So let's just say you have, like I do, Govee lights, Philips lights, quite a few different brands of lighting, LifeX, Color Light. You can connect these all up to Lumia Stream and you can even turn every single light off at once, which is pretty cool. And you can turn stream mode on and off. So if you're not if you're not streaming, someone can't go to your channel and then go to the channel points thing and turn your lights into a different color. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much everything there is to offer. Um, I hope this has been informative and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if it has helped you in making your decision, uh, make sure you like the video and also subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.